On Eyewitness News at 6. Ending human trafficking. An heroic rescue saved a teen from sex slavery. About a minute after I got off the phone, the police was here. Leading to one of three arrests in Charlotte just this past week. Charlotte is the hot spot. Tonight at 6, Channel 9 is taking the issue to the state. Do these women now have an opportunity to get justice for themselves? Learning the new laws to protect victims and asking what's being done to stop this epidemic. Nobody knows how many they really are. It could be thousands. The most recent case is a horrifying reminder that human trafficking is a very real danger. And it puts so many young women and girls in harm's way. Last night, only Channel 9 spoke to the workers at the Captain D's here on Eastway Drive whose quick thinking saved that 17-year-old girl. They told us the girl ran into the restaurant Friday saying a man was following her. She went to hide in the bathroom and a worker pretended to be cleaning the bathroom so the suspect could not go in. Another worker called police. They rescued the girl and arrested Patrick McManus. Now police say McManus forced that victim into prostitution so he could buy drugs. Channel 9 uncovered two other human trafficking arrests this week too. Eyewitness News anchor Allison Lottis joining us now and she pressed state leaders about what is being done to stop this epidemic. Allison. Scott and Erica, late this afternoon I learned that the victim in the most recent case is only 14 years old. Representative Bill Brawley tells me these cases prove human trafficking is an epidemic in Charlotte and across the state. There are new laws now on the books to fight this crime and help save women, but I asked him if more needs to be done. Police say these men treated women as property, as slaves they forced to have sex for money. We have too many males and not enough men. Representative Bill Brawley was blunt. North Carolina has a human trafficking epidemic and the state must stop it. In the past few months, new laws kicked in to fight the crime and allocate $1.5 million to organizations like Lilypad Haven to save women. North Carolina ranks 10th in the country and Charlotte is the hot spot. We would like to train the hospitality community. community. Um, you know, we have a lot of hotels and motels and salons. This was changing the definition of a victim. Brawley says Senate Bill 162 designates minors who are trafficked as victims of abuse, allowing them to receive help through DHHS. Plus, victims who can prove they were forced into sex will not face charges of prostitution. Nobody knows how many they really are. It could be thousands. And I believe it is. Do these women now have an opportunity to get justice for themselves? Yes. We also have a change that if someone is trafficked, they can sue their trafficker for damages to their health for lost wages while being held a slave. That means the teen who escaped thanks to workers at this fast food restaurant can now fight back by taking the suspected trafficker to court. The $1.5 million for rescue groups has not been doled out yet. Brawley tells me they're working on a way to verify those groups are legitimate. I asked him if these laws go far enough, and he quickly said no. He wants more funding for the rescue groups, tougher penalties for traffickers, more victims' rights, and also education so that we all know how to spot the crime. Thank you, Allison. In that case from Eastway Drive, the employees at Captain D's did exactly what they were supposed to do. And there's been a push to train workers in certain industries how to spot these victims, right? Uh, right, and that's exactly the case, especially in industries like uh, the airlines with flight attendants and also different salons. Some human trafficking victims forced, are forced to change their hair and their appearances, so salon workers are urged to pay attention. If a girl comes in and doesn't speak much or make any eye contact, in the airline industry, workers are trained to look for warning signs, like a passenger who doesn't know many details about their trip or has someone else speaking up for them. We asked CMPD how many human trafficking arrests they've made this year. They have not given us an exact number, but recent data shows Charlotte is one of the top 20 sex trafficking hubs in the nation.
Yeah, thank you, Allison. And we learned the problem doesn't stop here. Myrtle Beach, also one of the top human trafficking sites in the country. Yeah, this summer we covered cases of suspects trafficking victims from Charlotte to Myrtle Beach. That's right, and we have posted online more resources about human trafficking awareness, and you can find that plus our past coverage on WSOCTV.com. Eric and Scott.